key for Northwestern. Can they get another player to score like that? Yep, it's Bowie, it's Audige, and who's going to be the third person right there? It's Robbie Barron. He had a double-double, 20 and 10, the first meeting between these two clubs that Iowa won in Iowa City. Barry, catch and shoot, got it. Did he have a coming out party? <laughs> I tell you what, and his brother's having one himself this season. Kick out three, good for Chase Audige. Rebracha, another turnover for Iowa. These two teams don't turn it over often, but Iowa's struggling right now. Bowie, yes. Meanwhile, Northwestern on their four made field goals. They've been assisted by four different players. They've been sharing the sugar, so to speak, here early. Audige trying to kick it out to Barry. Yes. Eulis coming off a 12 point performance in their win Thursday against Ohio State. Slipping inside for Hooven. Wow, nice adjustment by Northwestern. No one wants to see the Huskers right now, especially in Pinnacle Bank Arena. Yeah, that is a tough place to play. Takeaway here by Brooks Barnheiser. Hello. Instead of relaxing, let the game come to him. Bowie on the step back. Ooh. Pure. Ooh. Here is Bowie, who has been so good over the last month of the season. Great pass. Extra passes to Barnheiser. Yes. Wow. A few Big 12 and maybe an SEC team or two with a similar resume that's ranked right now. Oh, great steal. And Murray puts it up and in. Eulis will run with it and get a shot up. A good look. And that banks in. So after they were just one of 16 from long range, Eulis banks in a three to end the half. They find their shooting touch in the second half. We'll see. Here's Audige, limited the first half with foul trouble, but Ooh. getting right to it in the second half. I got an older brother as well, so you know what I'm talking about. And they're about. bigger, and they're stronger, <laughs> and they're more athletic. So, uh, yeah. yes. Drop off for Bracha. And had not had a field goal until that field goal right there. Audige, another blow by him. What a finish with a left. I like the shot. Here's Chris Murray, tries to drop it off, and now 10 turnovers for the Hawkeyes. And there's a foul. Yeah, them and Purdue, two of the best in the country at getting there. Into the shot clock, Bowie goes to work. What a pass to Nicholson. McCaffrey to Perkins. What a reverse. And Iowa's hit all four of their shots this half, three of them from Tony Perkins. Over the top, Nicholson collects, foul, count the bucket. And that's three on Eulis. See, this is what Iowa wants Northwestern to do. They want them to shoot quickly so they can get back on the offensive end. Peyton Sanford lost it, but it fell right to Murray, count it, and the foul. Barnheiser for three, back to a 10-point game. Wow, Iowa did not respond defensively. Barry, catch and release, rolls around and off, but there's Nicholson. Taken away, though, by McCaffrey. Iowa with numbers. Perkins, yes. Has success, because that's a big part of what they do. Got to get it across. I don't know that they did. That was close, and Verhoeven is all alone. He has not scored the basketball much, but he has done everything else very well this afternoon. Barry in the corner, largest lead for the Cats. 11 points after not scoring in the first. Audige lost it. Perkins gave it right back. I mean, like you said, every day in this league is something to talk about. Something that may be surprising. Here's Nicholson, and he gets fouled. It goes, count it. The guy who holds the record, Pat McIntosh, is on the bench as an assistant. Great player here. Oh, man. B. Mack. Audige. Now to Bowie. Bowie blocked. Great D by Perkins. Shot clock still ticking. And it all worked out. Will the next stop be the top 25? We'll find out tomorrow. Eleventh Big Ten win for Northwestern.
ties a program record.